So <clears throat> I've been working on uh, this for uh, the last couple of weeks. Now initially I started building this out of a Raspberry Pi. So this is the uh, Fox Fox Hunt Tracker cool. that we're going to use in about uh, what is it about three two, weeks time? Yep, two three weeks for uh, for the for the club. Now this is you've got the little Micro Fox which is in the little canister. Yep. So this is the slightly higher powered one. Uh, well, so much we can, higher powered one. So we, yeah, it, and much more sexy case. Uh, so I got this from Bunnings. Uh, this is a tactics uh, case. This was I think about twenty three dollars. That's is, not bad. Twenty three, twenty five dollars. Waterproof. Um, yeah, I think it's IP. Don't quote me. I think it's IP sixty seven. It might be sixty five. Okay. I think sixty five maybe. Yep. Um, but um, but I've conveniently put amateur radio hidden transmitter and also put do not tamper and my mobile number which I better cover over. Um, and a bit of advert gratuitous advertising. And a bit of advertising yeah. on, on the back as well. <laughs> um, uh, and the reason for that is because if any member of the public comes along and finds it and there's an antenna on the top and it is sitting out there, they're going to wonder what it is and may potentially call call the police and say we're not sure what this is. So mm. we want to make sure that we label it. Accordingly, yeah, we're doing the bomb squad thing later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I've also got a padlock and a chain oh, okay. to go on here um, because we don't want anyone to flog it. So, and that okay. means that we can then hide it wherever we want in Hobart. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Um, now, so I'll start off with the Raspberry Pi, but the problem with the Pi was that because of the SD card that's in it, you need to uh, power down the Pi every single time. Uh, you turn it off to otherwise you might get a corrupt SD card. Yep. Yep, yep. So um, that was a problem. You can do it if you write a script and a button and it kind of become a little bit too difficult okay. and I was going to use the Pi for something else okay. um, anyway. So what I did was I put a um, Arduino, an Arduino, Arduino Uno, yeah, in here with a little relay board. And so you've got the you've got the Baofeng radio, so a twenty dollar or twenty five dollar Baofeng. Uh, you've got the uh, uh, the Arduino Uno. Okay. Um, with the wires all coming out, I didn't really keep it neat because I didn't think I needed to. Um, and there's a little over here. There's a little switch, uh, which is just wired directly onto the onto the positive of the battery. Okay. Uh, with a fuse and everything. Yep. Um, this step down transformer oh okay um, DC to, DC converter. yeah to power the baofeng because okay. the baofeng runs off 7.4 volts so there's a little um battery eliminator you can run the baofeng battery it'll last a it'll last quite a long time okay but i just bought this little 1.2 amp hour um, seal lead acid cool and then what i did was ran this coax into the top okay. and i used some aluminium uh tape uh, okay as a bit of a ground plane just so that it uh yep. it's got something to, to act on um, which, <laughs> conveniently, a crappy Baofeng antenna makes a very good fox hunt antenna because you do, you want it strong, but you don't want it too strong. So, um, unfortunately, the only problem with the, with these is that the SMAs they you can only get bulkhead female connectors. The SMA that is on and at ba on the Baofengs is also an SMA uh, female connector. Okay. So that's why I need the barrel to be able to connect the barrel to mail. Yep. But I do have some better antennas coming, which have okay. the proper connector. Okay. But cool. For this, this this can be heard quite a while away. Um, so the the idea behind it, which we're going to do on the fox hunt day, well, the idea that I think we've we've got, is that for this we're going to go and hide it. I think I'll start off with hiding it somewhere. Cool. And then whoever can goes and finds it, the first person to find it, they get to hide it the next time we do this, and so on and so forth. Excellent. Um, if someone finds it really quickly, which they probably might, uh, then we may potentially have time to hide it again. Okay. Uh, we'll just see, but I think the idea is we're going to start at about 9.30 in the morning, yep. and about lunchtime, about 12 o'clock, we're all going to come back up here and have a barbecue and a bit of a, Love it. a debrief. Love it. So what you have to do is... Uh, if you're on the frequency, on the two meter frequency, and you're right on top of it, you can unscrew your antenna. Um, and this really goes for any yep. Fox transmitter, really. Um, Go to a harmonic. That's right, because the problem is, is it's it's too it's still way too strong. You could be you could be st several meters away, and you can't see it visible, but you'll still hear it because it's that strong. Yep. So what you do is, is you uh, multiply the harmonic, the second harmonic, third harmonic usually, which is about the 70 centimetre band. Yep. Um, and then usually because of the deviation of the signal, you probably have to add about 5 kilohertz to 
the exact frequency, the exact third harmonic. And then that's good because it's a lot weaker and it's a lot easier to find. Correct. Um, the other thing that we could also do is this is on the this is, this will be running one watt. Yep. Um, because it runs one watt, we could put like a little three dB or a little six dB SMA attenuator in here, and we could even put it down to half a watt or two hundred fifty milliwatts because you're still going to hear it. Um, well, quite sure. well. So um, basically, what we do is I've got the battery unplugged, but you put the battery on and we turn it on, and what we'll do is we'll turn on my other another bow fang. Another bow fang. And quite a sexy bow thing, too. Yeah. Like bright yellow. Ooh, and nice. I need to I need to change the programming and the timing of it. But we get a long tone. Okay, which is good. That's good for direction of running. At the moment it's just sending my call sign and fox, but okay. we'll probably make that a little bit longer. Okay. Um wait for the end. <laughs> we get a little um, so what just happened then? <laughs> RFI still gets into this thing. Oh. So if you've got the lid open, I notice that the RFI actually gets back into the Uno and it. So that resets the Uno, does it? No, it doesn't reset the Uno. It just sounds funny on the audio. Huh. But as okay. soon as you shut the lid, it's fine. Yeah. So um, okay. it's it's a dirty fox hunt transmitter. Dirty fox hunt transmitter. <laughs> uh, but it'd be perfectly fine for what we want it to do. So, oh, right, really. um, so pretty cheap because you can buy these Unos for like twenty bucks, twenty bucks off Amazon. Oh, um, I love it. Yeah. So there we go. R RF RFI taking out the uh, the monitor. The monitor. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then the good thing is, is whoever finds it, um, we'll have a combination lock on it. So we'll just tell everyone the combination. Yep. Um, you can open it up, turn it off, whatever. Um, we might even have a. We'll go mobile. Maybe we'll even have a hidden <laughs> hidden message in here or something like that. Cool. Um, so yeah, it should be a a whole lot of fun. So. Yeah. Fantastic. That's good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, um, the Arduino, did you did you start from scratch or did you hack code or uh, what did you do? Okay, so this is my first Arduino project, believe it or not. I've never dabbled with the Arduinos before. Um, this project... We have him now. So, th so this <laughs> this idea of using the Arduino I got from another amateur on YouTube called uh, Charlie N... 7JV. Okay. He okay. is Red Summit RF. Okay. He did a um he did a video on this and the code comes from a club in I think Canada. Okay. And basically you can go in, download the code, upload it, yep. change your call sign, you can change stuff like the um, tone of the CW okay. and okay. and the speed and you just upload it, build it according to the circuit yep. and and away you go. I love it. Um so really really easy. A lot easier than building a script in a Raspberry Pi. Didn't take as long. Yeah, correct. Um, and then obviously you could use any handheld that you want. Um, yep. Just using the bow thing because that's that's the one that I had at home. Um, but uh, but yeah, nice little and and I love it. The good thing too is is about the color is it sort of will blend in a little bit, so we can hide we'll do, it under hide it under a bush or something. We could do a bit of camo on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, very good. So um, I'm a little bit worried about it. it's going to be too strong, uh, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, a bit of a challenge. So. BYO attenuators. <laughs> Definitely bring your attenuator along, um, yeah. and and you know we can get creative maybe in the future and have this hooked up to like a directional antenna pointing the wrong way or something like that. And yeah. Or fool some people. Take the antenna off. Or take the antenna off. Um, oh, so there's two versions of the code that they have. Okay. Um, they have a, a normal, uh, like a normal one like this. You just turn it on and away it goes. Yep. They've also got another version. Uh, which this is wired up for, but I haven't put the code in, where you press a DTMF tone on your radio yep. and it will start start it going. Okay. And then when it stops transmitting and it's listening, you can press another button and it will stop transmitting. So you can actually remotely control it, turn it on and off. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So... Because that, that, that just presents a deg another degree of difficulty mm. because you have little short bursts mm. where you... That's the only time that you get to DF it. <clears throat> so... Yeah. I think the idea with what we were going to do, because um, we kind of haven't really discussed it properly, but I think what we were going to do is we were going to get the uh, micro fox and we were going to probably hide it somewhere on the domain as a bit of a trial run yes, yes. for people to just like test their radios, make sure that we're all working. That'd be great. And then what we'll do is we'll get this um, get this going. Much further away. Yeah, and then hopefully in the future we can do these more regularly, like on a Friday <laughs> night or something, because yep. like in summer we've got plenty of light in summer, <laughs> um, and we could, you know... It's, do it on a Friday evening and we could go out and, and try and find them. So, 
Cool. Um, so basically, we'll go off, we'll hide it, we'll say, "Cool, we're just about ready to go," and uh, and it. then and then and then yeah, get a get a team together and see if you can if you I can find it. it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It, it they are they are, mm. I, this is really good fun. Mm. Oh, I did forget to mention with the oh, fox hunts, there yes. are going to be prizes. Prizes. I am Incentive. going to be sponsoring some prizes, so um, don't ham radio DX prizes. So you better be. So you better come along because if you're not here on the fox hunt day, you're not going to be able to win a prize. Got to be in it to win it. That's right. So if you're not here, you can't win it. Correct. Got to ask, what's with the hat? What's with the hat? Yeah. Oh, I missed well, that bit. No, no. Um, uh, last week when we interviewed Win- uh, Warren. Yes. Down at Casey Station, I made sure I wore the hat, and I thought oh. I'm going to wear it again. Ah, oh. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, it is actually a uh, comes from uh, comes from the US, oh. uh, and it is real um, rabbit skin. So um, I've just lost a whole bunch of viewers out there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, <laughs> yep. So it's, it's not that cold, really. But <laughs> it's, it's actually not that cold. Your head's probably sweating. And and if you if you um, well, I have actually just had a haircut. Oh, so that's right, yeah. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I don't have much hair, but uh, very nice and very warm. And if you if you put the flaps down on it, uh, you can't hear a damn thing. You definitely need to have flaps down, not flaps up. Yeah, no flaps down. Oh, um, now you look like an aviator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you can't. <laughs> you absolutely can't hear a thing. So, um, so yeah, you've got to. Um, uh, you've got to definitely have flaps up. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> we'll catch you uh, catch you next week on seventy three, and we'll uh, we'll see you uh, next time around. Cheers. Bye.